my life is a disaster. It's day three of filming my cinematic video of Porto. I'll put the link in the description because I've been here with my great friend Sarah and we did uh, a vlog uh, down there over at São Bento and also at Aliaz and all that stuff. You might be wondering why I said my life is a disaster right now. <laughs> well, you know, my health is okay, I'm fine, I'm finishing a degree, I mean, I'm here enjoying this amazing sun, so why would I say that my life is a disaster? But still, it is a great disaster, because <laughs> everything is just so heavy right now. So today, um, I couldn't really get out of bed because um, everything was just falling on top of me. Like it's, and I'm having, and it's so much weight that I really can't. <laughs> I'm afraid I won't be able to be able to lift that weight anymore. And I have like this buzz inside of my head that just keeps, you know, it. It keeps me from thinking, you know? Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit hard getting through all this. Um, but you know, I got out of bed, I got dressed, I picked up the camera and I just went out the door before I could stop myself. Because you know, just you just need to start moving, you know, you need to keep moving, otherwise you're going to... You're going to stop. That's what happened to me yesterday. <laughs> I just... And you know, and today I really thought I was going to stick to my bed, but I, you know, I thought to myself, you can, Sophia, you need to... You need to get out, just go and do something, go and film. Do the stuff that you love and everything will be okay. But yeah, let's get to work because I have a lot to do, so let's go. you know um, and I'm going to Australia in October this year so I have a lot of amazing things like coming for me and but still uh, in this time of in this moment I'm feeling so so but so stuck I'm feeling really stuck because I still I have my dissertation to write and I mean I need this time of my life to end I need to put this behind my back that feels like really heavy for me to to feel like I've lost direction uh, I don't know where I'm going even though I'm going to Australia I don't know what's coming for me you know it's this uncertainty that that hurts a lot 
I mean, it's exciting, but it also hurts because I don't know what's going to happen. I really want to invest in my YouTube channel, but I have no idea if it's going to work. Uh, I want to... I basically want to be a photographer, you know, and I want to travel, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to... to actually have that kind of life, because it seems so far ahead in the distance, and sometimes that just... You know, that uncertainty just hurts me a lot because I don't know what's going to happen and I really want it to happen but I don't know if it's going to happen so yeah, I'm feeling that's and that is emotionally heavy for me to deal with because I still have so much stuff that I need to put behind my back before I can actually go to Australia and start doing other other things, you know. There's these personal problems that I'm going through. There's still, you know, there's a lot of frustration and anger and sadness that's still, that's very deep inside of my heart still. And it's, it's been very hard to actually start to let that go because that, that anger and that frustration is still very linked to my dissertation and people that went away from my life that I loved very much and I still love um, but I just can't be with them and yeah and so that's why it's been so hard to get rid of that frustration because I'm still I'm still in the same I'm still in the same place I'm still in the same house I'm still in the same city and I think it's hard to let that go because I have so much stuff um, all of all of that stuff you know my dissertation my degree um, those people that went away from my life uh, is still very connected to that to, to this place to this city to my home and I kind of just I want to I want to leave that all behind and I want I want <laughs> and I want to leave that all behind right now because I really can't take it anymore it's because it hurts me a lot every day I was feeling so stuck um, today but you know it's like I said I got up I got dressed I picked up my cameras and I got out of the house and now I'm here so yeah, I want to pat myself on the back for that, for getting out of the house anyway. And I started to do things, you know, it doesn't matter, it's just... You need to keep moving, you know? You need to keep going. I'm, I start creating and it starts filling my heart with good things. Because it's something that I really love and... And yeah, and... and I'm really happy that I that I got out of bed and I came here and I'm here and I'm vlogging and I'm creating stuff and I just need to keep going, you know, just keep investing, keep working, even though it hurts, even though I have all of this pain that I want to put behind my back, I can't stand still because standing still is only going to make it worse. So I need to do stuff. So let's do stuff. <laughs> let's do this. Um, let's keep going. I am at Avenida dos Aliados, and you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to do a hyperlapse of the city hall, but the problem is I wanted to do the hyperlapse from all the way down there but they have a lot of stuff down there right now so I can't do it the way I wanted to I'm in the middle of the avenue now so as you can see they have um, construction stuff over there so I'm going to have so I'm going to do the hyperlapse not from all the way down there but from more or less the middle well this hyperlapse is not working very well because there's that construction thing at the very beginning of the avenue 
and then there's some sort of event going there in the middle over there so I really there's going to be a, a really big gap between the photos so the hyperlapse is not going to come out very well so I'm going to have to repeat it on another day uh, when the avenue is clear of stuff and people so so yeah so this hyperlapse is a no-go today what I wanted to share with you is something that is that uh, it was my birthday two days ago so I was 25 on the 23rd of January and for the first time in my life I wasn't really happy to for it to be my birthday uh, so yeah it was a it was kind of a, it was a very bad feeling uh, I just I didn't want to I just I, I didn't want to be 25 because I'm going through so much pain right now that and that I, I just I don't want to get old <laughs> you know <laughs> and time is going by so fast and it's hurting me a lot um, it hurt me a lot I spent it was a good day but at the same time it wasn't and and yesterday yeah it was it was a really heavy day because I was just thinking about everything that's going on in my life and it's and yeah um, it's emotionally emotionally it's very very heavy for me right now um, so I am 25 and I feel like the best years of my life are going by it and I'm not um, and I'm not enjoying them as I should um, because I changed a lot so right now my life isn't really making sense <laughs> it seems like I'm going through a growing up pain how do you call it? how do you call it uh, it seems like I'm feeling it in my bones you know it feels like my body is growing but not really growing physically it's more my heart my heart is growing and my mind is going on a completely different direction and it's difficult for me to to understand what's going on do you know what I mean? because <laughs> I really don't know what's going on inside of me and so yeah it's a bit of a growing pain it's a pain of growing up, but not really, but it's a different kind of pain. Not really a physical pain, but more like an emotional and uh, spiritual and mental pain. So, yeah. Okay, everyone, so the sun has gone down and I am going home um, it was a fairly good good day of filming I mean I don't know this takes a lot of work not that I'm I'm not complaining because it's an awesome work to do but it takes a lot of time to actually get the footage so I don't know if I got as much footage as I need. I don't have a lot of experience uh, doing this, so I don't know if I'm missing something. Sometimes I don't, I don't know how I need to film stuff to be able to get the video done. Do you know what I mean? Thank you a lot for watching. These vlogs are a bit all over the place. But I hope you enjoy it. You enjoy it anyway. So I will see you on the next one. If you are feeling stuck, just get out of the house and go and do something because it really helps with the creative process. Um, but yeah.
bye bye guys see you on the next one